Yes, that's right, Sunday afternoon, which means it must be time for Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. <laughs> yes, hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, back with another episode of Show Us Your Cat, where we're gonna be taking a trip around the world looking at your boats and where it is that you sail them. So once again, the main feature this week on Joyrider TV has been the Q&A session. But this week, there weren't so many questions coming in. So perhaps if you could put it in the comments below, are you finding much value in the Q&A sessions at the moment? And would you like them to continue? If so, I'm very happy to keep doing them. It's really nice to come out on a Wednesday and connect with the Joyrider TV global community. But let me know either way what you think and maybe I'll see you on Wednesday. If you'd like to be featured in Show Us Your Cat, then do get involved. Just check out what to do in the video description below. And yes, you could be in an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat. But for now, it's time for Show Us Your Cat. So let's dive in and have a look at what we're looking at in this week's Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Okay, so this week we're starting off on the Adriatic coast of Italy in Senzanatico, which is just north of Rimini, where we have Lorenzo. Lorenzo has got a 2012 Hobie Wildcat. Oh yes. He sails this boat either with his cousin Dario or with his girlfriend Sara. He says it's a great boat, very fast and great fun. He picked it up just last year in 2020 and he's finding it quite a challenge compared to the much smaller, more basic catamarans that he's used to. When stepping up to a Formula 18 catamaran, from anything else, you will find that there is a bit more going on generally. A bit more power, but also the platform compared to a lot of smaller catamarans is a bit more stable. So like with getting used to any type of catamaran, build up the amount of wind that you go sailing in and you'll be fine. The Wildcat was of course the replacement for the Hobie Tiger back Hi, around. Lonnie. 2010, the Wildcat came out to compete with the more modern designs in the F-18 class. Here in this video, we can see that it's a very tidy and clean Wildcat in great condition for the age. If you've got a spinnaker on your boat, your spinnaker chute, the soft part, it's well worth keeping that as tight as possible take all of the creases out and that means your spinnaker will go in and out a lot easier as there'll be less friction. And then in this video, this is pretty classic. We see this all the time here at Wildwind and to the untrained eye, you wouldn't even spot this. But when wheeling the boat in the Pope Park, do make sure that one of you isn't pushing down on the front and one is pulling up fighting against each other. So a little bit of communication can go a long way there. So thanks very much, Lorenzo, for sending us those pictures and videos of your Wildcat. Good morning. Stop. Oh. In the Wildcat. Next, we're heading to Germany. Pretty close to Berlin, we're going to Grimmitzi, where we have Matthias. Matthias has got a 1994 Hobie 16. Now I did have a look on the color chart, but I couldn't find what these sails are called. She's certainly a good looking Hobie 16. Matthias says he bought this boat just two years ago and the previous owner always kept the boat in great condition and Matthias has done everything that he can to continue in this fashion 
with this 16. I think it looks very sharp. Check it out, she's got the Epo 2 rudder blades on there, probably the second best rudder blades you can ever put on your 16. But you may ask, is it worth replacing the Epo 2s for the Epo 3s? I would say no. He's also got the six to one downhaul system on there for some fine tuning and the Aussie style jib halyard. The Grimmancy is almost like a private lake. It's located in the middle of a nature protection area and there's very limited access. There are three Hobie 16s, one Hobie 17 and some windsurfers around and nobody else uses the lake. Now that is pretty luxurious. The lake is almost round, completely circular, so they have good wind conditions in any direction. That is a massive bonus. A lot of lakes can be quite gusty. Now I'm guessing that the lake must be quite shallow. If you're sailing in shallow water, having a masthead float on your boat is a great idea, as that means when you capsize, if the boat starts inverting, you're not gonna stick the mast into the bottom, which can be a bit of an issue, even if it just means you're getting dirty sails. But here's Matthias sailing with Jessica. He says it was around 12 knots of wind, and I think you'll agree that wind is looking pretty steady. The guys are really charging here with great style. You can also see what great condition the boat is in from this angle. This video also really showcases what a great venue this is to go sailing. Plenty of room to stretch your legs even on a fast reach on a Hobie 16. I don't know if it is a private lake or if perhaps after this video it's not going to be feeling quite as private anymore. Now here's a feature for how cold can you sail. Now a little while back, Matthias had invited a friend of his to come down for a sail. And overnight it got very, very cold indeed. So when they arrived at the lake, oh my goodness, the lake was frozen over. But after a bit of procrastination, they decided, let's have a look. They checked the ice with some stones and the stones broke the ice. So they thought, okay, let's go for it. So they went out and started using the Hobie 16 as an icebreaker. Matthias says the Hobie cut through that ice like it was a hot knife through butter. Didn't suffer any damages and they kept out sailing for about two hours. This is pretty weird. Just listen to that. And there you can see Matthias at the helm, ice cold, clearly not concerned by what is going on. That is pretty cool. So thanks very much, Matthias, for sending in those pictures and video of your fantastic looking 16 and what an amazing venue to go sailing. What an absolute gift. If you've sailed in colder conditions than Matthias there, I think we need to see. It being the winter, great feature. How cold can you sail? That would be very nice to see. But thanks again to Lorenzo and Matthias for showing us their cats this week in Show Us Your Cat. So still ongoing, of course, we've got the speed stick. If you are able to get out sailing, then do take a GPS device, send me your results. I'll get it on the speed stick. But other than that, thanks very much for watching. I'll be back next week with more Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. And uh, yes, do send in pictures and videos of your boats if you'd like to be featured and uh, you could be here 
in an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat. Thank you very much.